So can you guys uh, welcome to our YouTube channel? Uh, we have from Sensei uh, Master the Hack. Uh, today we're going to cover one special lab, a lab from a platform called Hookvisa, a uh, very good platform. Uh, we're going to do some labs on uh, a, uh, a course specifically capped certified associate penetration tester. I'll be a uh, guide for the day on Ruben Kanyoko, so let's work on this. We're going to be working on a lab, special lab. Yeah, we get it under the labs part, common vulnerabilities exactly. In our line of cybersecurity, you have to understand common vulnerabilities, the CVEs, how you to exploit them, since we'll actually be getting them in uh, real world situations. So today we're going to be covering this. So I'm going to set the lab first before we do the introduction. So it's a pre-FTPD. Just by the word FTPD, you can just tell by that name that you're going to be looking at FTP protocol. Remember FTP protocol uh, stands for File Transmission Protocol. It's a protocol that mainly it works on uh, file uh, file uh, transfers through through servers, uh, certain uh, servers. So today uh, we just dive in. FTP is a widely used open source FTP server for file transfer. This lab, this lab uh, contains the CVE 2015-306 vulnerability found in FTP version 1.3.5. Remember, it's it's always according to a version. You can get uh, the newer version don't have this kind of vulnerability. They already patched. But yeah, you may get some certain organizations still using this version. So. You have to you actually have to work on it. So this vulnerability allows attackers to perform remote code execution attacks, enabling the execution of arbitrary commands on the server and potentially taking control of the of the system. So what is the secret in the secret TXT file? So uh, one thing you have to understand about this lab, this lab mainly one can answer this lab in two main ways. There's a simpler way. Uh, call it simpler since it's going to be using a framework. Yeah, you guess it right. Maybe you might have guessed it. Might have spelled framework. It's a very very common uh, framework. I really recommend you learning about it. You can be a beast on it so that you won't have problems actually trying to exploit certain vulnerabilities. So we head on directly. So we're going to open our terminal. Uh, one thing, there's one thing we should do. You must be connected to the network. So I'll, uh, I'll show you how I'm not connected to it. So let's do it. So I already have OpenVPN in my in my common directory. We can start with it. So download the file. I'll download the file and uh, I'll do a folder. A folder called Kumaisa. Then here you can see if the it's from each it's on the each year server, but it's okay. Now I'm not so sure if I have a uh, open VPN in this specific uh, downloads uh, ls so cd hack visor. Clear the terminal so sudo open VPN. No, I don't think I don't think open VPN is in this directory, so yeah, okay. Maybe it will work. Yeah, once you see this initialization sequence completed, then you know you're good. So I'm going to you must leave this. You must leave this uh and uh and uh interrupted. You can actually know by this, you know, you're connected. So make sure don't control C in this terminal. So you open another tab or another terminal. Either way, the best way. So here, the same simple as you are. We're going to start with a split. So you start with a split by MSF. MSF console. Let it uh, work first. Setting my UR there, so people actually I prefer using MSF console as uh, a way to start this. 
for me to give you the better introduction of Metasprit. I'm uh, not processing the introduction part, but there are a series of steps so you should work on it. So I'm going to start. Uh, we're already connected to this, so we close that tab. Mostly you have to do this. You copy that CV. You come here. it yeah took some time but normally it doesn't take such so you do such there is a command search then you you copy your your cv there it will give you a list of the cvs so from this point you you actually see the rank is excellent like this is the best this is the best so you have two options from here you can either use uh like you can either use the command use zero Either you can use uh, use zero, or you can use this. Then you put the name there. Either way, it will still work. It's all a matter of how you work on it. Yeah. Then you're ready. You're ready there. So no payload configured. Default into this. So as of today, we're not going to make a match on the payload since we're going to be working on a, a certain category not most especially the payload so we go back so what are you going to work on this so once you're in the in this meta split part uh, a normal hacker will do show options this will tell you what and what is needed from you is needed from you so first part uh, i majorly look at this so required part so any required part must that has yes you must enter the the variable uh, value of the settings so uh, in this you have already noticed i need to set the r host okay there's no r host so and it's required so this is the target host uh, next r port one thing i really need to do and i need to help you uh, i need to do that for professional uh, aspects you can copy this url then uh, and what uh, I like using a CD to understand uh, to get the version you see that way how you, whichever way you work on it so I put put it so one thing you should notice I, I will need to do a scan to make sure the port is open uh, the other thing uh, that uh, what else uh, this is set already set already set uh, one thing you should notice and I'm going to start even with this. The L host is the local host IP settings. You see this setting? This setting uh, for those who understand uh, IP IP addressing and such, this is not uh, the type of address I should be using right now. This is my this is the address I'm given by my router, my house my house router. My home router yeah, exactly. So what you should do, uh let's see this already did uh I'll have to clear that first so that I do this. I have to config notice what I have so this is from the VLAN side so notice I have to do this or normally most people what do they do they just copy this so this is the IP address you have to because it's the VPN link so you can just click to copy come back here then how do you set that variable so that it changes so you use the word set the command set uh, then you have uh, the name of the of the variable you're going to you're going to change so L host. Then you copy you paste whatever you copied like the VPN link. So notice this. It actually changed. You see, it was on seventy two sixteen, but this notice you must use this so that. This uh, this IP address that is connecting you to the to the Hackvisor lab. One thing you should notice that you should always keep at the back of your mind. Uh, so I'm going to put the other ones fast enough. So set the R R host. I'm going to just use this the receiving. I just call I just prefer calling it the receiving host. Ah, uh, mistaken there. So set R host. And it's okay now. Uh, one thing else I'll, I'll also change is this. Notice I'll also change this since it's a matter of uh, website path. 
I have to add the HTML part here. Set uh, image caps lock small caps. Set site path. Uh, I'll have to use. So that you can be able to access this site. Yeah, so I think with that we will be done. Show options again. So the yes we have it, the yes we have it, uh yeah we have it. But now what do you do next? You check you check. The command check actually means um it's telling the meta split room back check if this is uh, ex uh, is vulnerable. So yeah, this is the most important thing we always look at. The target app is vulnerable. So it's either you now use the command run or use the command exploit. I like using the command exploit. It uh, sounds more professional. So yeah, let's wait and see. So it's a matter of leaving the framework now to do the work. It's like having an assistant. You leave the framework to, to do the work and expect good results. If no good results are given back, so that's a good thing. Command shell one uh, session one opened. Let's wait and see. But it wasn't created. So what do you do? You can yeah. So I've listed the sessions that are available, and I have this session uh, that is available. So I can session. Uh, session 1, remember I'm going to use one since the session that was created if you have another session it might pop up down here uh, sessions yeah now and we are in this was just a simple mistype error and we are in so what do you do the main thing you are asked what is the secret in the secret.txt file we are doing uh, in a shell command so cut secret dot txt and you have that answer you already have the answer so yeah notice that was how we are solving the framework part the next thing we now have to use uh, a python file a python script a uh, python script i have already customized a special script for this lab don't worry it's going to be unique and uh, perfect so I want you to notice something. It's sweet DB. It's sweet DB is where it's a database that contains all the exploit of uh, CVEs you have. Like if you have already uh, if CVEs are already uh, published, then the exploit is there. So notice I have to copy this again. So for those who haven't, this is already there. The the answer they are looking for. So I'm going now to do another way. I'm now going to work on the other way of solving this. You need to get the same answer. So I'll have to copy this CV. Uh, sorry, it's called being used to the terminal. Even forgot it still is control shift C. So control C. Then I'm going to search for this vulnerability here. Network. No, it won't work. Uh, search exploit DB. I think this will work. Let it load. Just come here to the CVE. I will search. Let it process. I'm reading it. Yeah, and you have it. So I'm going to literally look at this. Um, would profit what execution. Uh, notice something this script is uh, more of like a a, a, a breeder script that will remain work but one thing i noticed from this script it was really looking at to to copy and read uh, the password file you notice this this is commonly the password file so you have to edit the script and make it uh, have your own settings remember we also told we should read uh, we should uh, read the uh, secret.txt notice you, here you will be reading the test 
test.php so you have to do some editing i've already done the editing and i've deleted this so i'll uh, give uh, i'll give the link to the description the link to this github account in the description it's our github uh, profile so notice uh, we have certain uh, steps but don't worry just download the raw file Oh yeah, nice. So I'm going to in hack with that. Let me see the 2015. Mm, then name it exploit.py. It's okay. No, not this one. I'm going to get done with that. Create it twice. So exploit.py is working. So you can head back here. We can uh, actually close this. Exit. So let's cd let's clear that so how do you how do you run this script mostly you uh, can have uh, have that part here just copy this now one thing you need to change you have to put your ip address So, uh, directory ready for destination. Uh, copy, copy successful. This is what you're looking for. If you dare, if you dare, just run the normal script from the other, from the exploit domain. It will give you some hectic time. You won't get such successful messages. So you can see what you have. So you are told go to here. So in simple terms, what do I do? I can just use this CLI call. Uh, let's do let's not put so many yeah and you already have this and you can also you can also paste that you'll notice it's the same same uh, one we got from the other one thank you so much for watching this video hope to see you on the next one have a beautiful and a happy hacking thank you so much for being with us